Guys, this is Mr. Joshy J, and in this video, I'm going to talk about Manchester United and Arsenal Football Club, why both teams are in the same situation. So, right, two famous football clubs who absolutely dominated the Premier League in the early 2000s are now in such a state. Both of them, at the moment, are just a complete laugh in stock to English football, Manchester United and Arsenal. At our club, we have a manager who is well and true out of his step, and the same at Arsenal, you know, Mikel Arteta. I mean, they are on the good run of form at the moment, Arsenal, but who's to say that's going to continue? Because it could easily go pear-shaped. But coaches at our club are not experienced enough, and we have owners we are absolutely clueless who fucking take the money out of our club. Stan Cronkie, sometimes he uses his own money now, or Josh Cronkie, to buy players. But out of the two clubs, so he spent the most money, but out of the two owners, I still think our owners are probably the worst. But both teams are in the gutter. It is absolutely no two ways about it. Both United and Arsenal are absolutely in the same situation. they got owners who don't really care about the club. Arsenal, the thing was laughable, right? They moved to the Emirates thinking they're going to be competing with the big boys. But, you know, they've not won a Premier League title since moving to the Emirates, which is absolutely mad, but it's the truth. And you have Arsenal fans on social media saying that, Arteta's good looking and that. I mean, come on, man. Seriously. Is that how low the standards are fallen by football fans these days? I couldn't believe it when I heard that on Lee Gunner's channel, who is a massive Arsenal fan and just talks straight facts and says it how it is. Like what I do on my channel, it's like... Ole Gunnar Solskjaer getting a free pass for being a club legend. It's like, come on. Where have the standards gone in football these days? But, yeah, it's kind of sad how both teams are in this situation, to be honest. Two great football teams who dominated the early 2000s era. You know, Sir Alex Ferguson, like the GOATs, the greatest of all time. Arsene Hanger... He had a good team to start with, but then near the end of his Arsenal career, it kind of went a bit pear-shaped in the end. I mean, Arsene Hanger should have gone after Arsenal won that FA Cup. And also, he did an article recently saying that he wished he left Arsenal sooner. I mean, if he left sooner, I think he would have protected his legacy. Like, this is not fair how Solskjaer is still in a job. You know, literally, he is like... A lost dog, what needs putting out of his misery, to be honest. It's like, it's so unfair on him how Manchester United are keeping him on the, in the job. But, you know, at the protest tomorrow, and there is a protest at Old Trafford, don't give Ollie abuse. Point the fingers at the glaciers and the board. That's who I would like you fans to point the finger at, the glaciers and the board. Of course, we all want Oli out, you know, we're 100% Oli out, and quite a vast majority of Arsenal fans want Arteta out. But Arsenal fans accepting that Europa League is a trophy. I mean, a club like Arsenal, come on! Football fans are so thick in these days, they really are. Arsenal... Like, with the grounds they got, they should be up there competing for league titles. But, you know, Project Youth, Arsenal fans like to say, Project Youth is banging. But still, Arteta is well and truly out of his step. You know, like, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is out of his step. So, yeah, it's kind of mad how both teams are in exactly the same situation Two teams who I grew up in. Like, I'm a Manchester United fan. My granddad is. And my dad is an Arsenal fan. And I knew probably I was going to become 
a fan of one of them, and I became a fan of Manchester United. The club I absolutely love, but the manager, the coaching staff, the board and the owners absolutely cannot stand. I will not support them. I mean, I love Ollie. Player, you know, brilliant. Manager, out his step. Get out of here. Just release him, Manchester United. And same as, like, Arsenal. I mean, with United, right? Fans accepting that top four is kind of a trophy. And Arsenal getting Europa League. Come on, man. Where are your standards? By both sets of fans, it's insane. But... Anyway, comment your thoughts down below, I always reply, and I thought this would be a really good video to do, because the harsh reality is, both Manchester United and Arsenal are in exactly the same situation as each other, and it's kind of sad, but you know, what can you do when you've got both clubs who have owners who are absolute frauds? It's like... You're now both in the shit straight. Bye bye.